Honestly, I have to say that this is really the work that we have done huh? because the markets are continuing to be a bit difficult, specifically on, on I would, what I call mass cosmetics. It's really Covergirl and the, uh, um, uh, you know, the other brands from Europe like Vimel or Max Factor or Sally Hampton, which is present on both sides of the Atlantic that are gaining market share. And these market share gains are due clearly to two things, the repositioning of each and every brand on its original equity, Covergirl now stands for clean makeup in America. Rimmel is clearly the uh, makeup activist in UK. Max Factor is back to its equity as the brand of makeup artists. And Sally Hansen continues to grow with its salon alternative positioning. This coupled with a big bet that I have made when I joined Coty, which is to say that Coty, as a company, is going to lead the clean beauty revolution in mass distribution, be it with Covergirl, or with uh, Rimmel with the kind and free line that's been just launched in Europe, or recently, more recently, Max Factor with its uh, Miracle Pure line. This is clearly positioning us as a key partner for retailers to grow the makeup category in sync with what consumers are looking for today, which is makeup, but with a healthy side in it, a clean side in it, and what we call skinified makeup. So clearly, I have to say that this is due to the work that we have done since one year now. What are you seeing in the marketplace that you, that you say is still challenging from a macro ah, perspective? No, no. The, the, the markets are not back in, in, in consumer beauty at the level of 2019. That's why, again, when you said that what's lifting us is the reopening of the economy, it's true, but to really to a lesser extent than the repositioning, the new launches, the new communications, and the clear bet that we have made behind clean beauty, skinified beauty on both mm -hmm. sides of the Atlantic. What about fragrances? What, what's happening there? So fragrances, uh, let me for once start with, uh, you know, something that has nothing to do with figures. This, as you can see, it is the first fragrance that's globally distributed using sustainably sourced alcohol. You know, this comes from our partnership that we signed one year ago with Lanzatech, which is an American biotech company, to allow us to transform gas emissions from factories into alcohol with the cosmetic grade that we have uh, created at Coty. So this is the first production. It happened at the end of last year uh, in our Spain factory, which is really a first that I wanted to share with you since consumers are more and more looking for products that do not have an impact on carbon. This one has even better a positive impact on carbon footprint uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know, CO2 uh, uh, print around the world. So this is a big news. The other big news is that our innovations that started in Q1 uh, into Q2, such as Gucci, uh, uh, Flora Gorgeous Gardenia, or Burberry Hero Fragrance, had outstanding results. Both are you know, among the best innovations on the U.S. market. I did want to ask you specifically about China because the economic recovery there has been slower and the restrictions stricter. So I, I'm curious what you see in the coming months out of China and how critical of a growth market it is for you. So what we are seeing in China is uh, two things. If I give you uh, our growth in calendar 21, we were growing four times faster than the Chinese market. If you look to the holiday season and the quarter two, we're growing six times faster than the market. So for us, in fact, we are accelerating our pace of growth in terms of sellout on the Chinese market. The other information we are seeing from China is that the fragrance category is now outpacing in terms of growth, the skincare and the makeup category. So imagine for a company like Coty, that's very strong on fragrances, uh, be it on mainstream, premium or ultra premium, this is a huge opportunity for us. And we are going to couple this opportunity with our new footprint in makeup, thanks to Gucci and Burberry makeup, but also to Lancaster skincare. So quite confident about Chinese market.